Hi everybody, today's focus, I'm gonna test the disinfecting power of Norwex EnviroCloth. Let me start by saying I'm going to put timestamps in the description, so feel free to bounce around to a section that you're most interested in watching. Also, I am not a consultant. I do not have any ties to the company Norwex. I'm not a consultant. I do not do sales for them at all. I am just doing some independent tests on their cleaning products. So I heard of Norwex quite a few years ago when a friend invited me to one of their Facebook Norwex cleaning parties and I was intrigued by the company. I felt like they were very environmentally friendly. Uh, their big pitch of just using water to clean was rather intriguing. I did purchase from them um, a couple of EnviroCloths, the window cloth, cleaning paste, and the mop system dusting mitt. So I do have a handful of things from Norwex. I have two reviews on this channel of the window cloth and also the cleaning paste. But today I'm going to focus on the Enviro cloth. I decided to purchase some brand new Enviro cloths for this test. I ended up by getting the travel pack of Enviro cloths which have five small sized Enviro cloths in it. This way I could test various areas of my home with a clean brand new cloth. So what are the claims that I'm interested in testing? The first one is that the Norwex Enviro cloth can remove 99.9% .9 of bacteria with just water alone. So the rep that I purchased these cloths from really wanted me to understand the Norwex way and sent me a link of seven videos, I think it was seven, seven or nine videos to watch that I understood Norwex. Now I had already watched the majority of the videos. I watched them again. So one thing she really wanted to drive home, the point is that they use mechanical cleaning versus chemical cleaning, which I got. I can put a link in the description um, of those videos that she wanted me to watch before I did any sort of testing below so that you can watch them too. The second claim that I would like to test is the Norwex cleaning cloth's ability to decrease bacteria as it's drying. And so that is basically their backlock technology is that any bacteria that gets on this cloth as I'm cleaning the surfaces in my home should decrease 65 to 70% within 24 hours of me rinsing it and hanging it up to dry. So we're gonna test that also. So let me go over how I'm going to conduct my bacteria testing for these EnviroCloths. It's just slightly different from the way that I have been testing other cleaners on this channel. I have chosen four areas in my home that I'm going to test. I'm going to test my bathroom sink, the toilet base, the kitchen counter, and the kitchen sink. What I'll do is take a Petri dish, just like this guy. I have it labeled A, B, and C. I have sterile swabs. What I'm going to do is swab an area in the home, let's say the kitchen counter, and I will place that sample on B for before. Next, I'll take an EnviroCloth, dampen it, and clean the surface that I'm testing. In this case, it's gonna be the kitchen counter. Then I'll take a sterile swab, and I'll place that sample on A for after. Seize the control, nothing goes here. What I'm going to do next is take a sterile swab and swab the cleaning cloth after I use it and place that here on after. This will be blank as a control. Then I'm going to rinse it per their instructions, hang it to dry, and then 24 hours later, I'm going to swab it again. This will tell me if there's a decrease in bacteria on the cloth between immediately after cleaning to 24 hours after cleaning. Let's see how well the Norwex EnviroCloth disinfects my home.
Now for some results. The bathroom sink. So you can see in the before section, there's a lot of bacteria there. And in the after section, there's also an awful lot of bacteria there. Make the note that the white larger colonies were removed. They are not in the after section. The Norwex and Virocloth most certainly did not remove 99.9% .9 of bacteria from my bathroom sink. The toilet base. So again, we can see in the before section, there's a tremendous amount of bacteria there. There's a smearing of bacteria. There's a lot. You can't even tell the difference. Colonies, there. it's a lot there. The after section, yes, there is a decrease. There is most certainly a decrease between the before and the after. However, it is not 99.9% .9 decreased. Hit that thumbs up and subscribe button if you enjoy seeing Petri dish results. The kitchen counter. Again, in our before section, we have a really nice collection of bacteria here. It's really great to see. In our after section, we do still have bacteria. Again, it removes some. It removes some of those small colonies. Um, but it most certainly did not remove 99.9% .9 of bacteria. The kitchen sink. Before, lots of bacteria. After, bacteria. Again, we're seeing a decrease, but we're most certainly not seeing that 99.9% .9 bacterial decrease in the bacteria load that's in my kitchen sink. So what about how much bacteria is actually on the EnviroCloth when you're done cleaning. So if you remember, I swabbed right after I was done cleaning and then also 24 hours later to see if there's bacteria on the cloth after cleaning, is the backlock technology able to remove the bacteria within 24 hours? Let's check that out. The bathroom sink, you can see here that the EnviroCloth most certainly did collect a tremendous amount of bacteria on that EnviroCloth. So what happened 24 hours later? So as the cloth dried, we can see there is um, a bacteria decrease on that cloth. I am not certain if it's 65 to 70% decrease. It's kind of hard to tell, um, but there most certainly is a decrease in bacteria on the cloth that cleaned my bathroom sink. The toilet base, the EnviroCloth definitely collected a tremendous amount of bacteria from the toilet base. What happened 24 hours later? So there is a decrease. We can definitely see a slight decrease in bacteria from immediately after to 24 hours later. Is it a massive decrease? No, but there is a decrease. The kitchen counter, we can see again that the EnviroCloth definitely collected bacteria from the kitchen counter. And 24 hours later, it still had bacteria on the cloth from cleaning the kitchen counter. The kitchen sink, again, we can definitely see that the EnviroCloth definitely collects bacteria as it's cleaning. What happened 24 hours later? So there is some bacteria still on the cloth. There was a decrease for certain, um, not a huge decrease, but there was a decrease in bacteria on my EnviroCloth that cleaned my kitchen sink. So I really had some high hopes for the Norwex EnviroCloths. Um, so much so that, like I said in the beginning, I purchased some brand new travel cloths so I could do some fresh testing on them uh, and in hopes to prove that the EnviroCloth does remove 99.9% .9 of bacteria in my home. With regards to the claims that I wanted to test, claim number one was that Norwex EnviroCloths remove 99.9% .9 of bacteria from the surface that you're cleaning. From the testing completed in my home, that was not the case. The cloths did not remove 99.9% .9 of bacteria from the surfaces in my home. As for the second claim, that Norwex EnviroCloths have a backlock technology that decreases the bacteria on the cloth as it's drying. I did see a decrease in the cloths. Now, if it was difficult for me to gauge is their claim is 65 to 70% within 24 hours of hang drying. I'm just looking at them and eyeballing them myself. I don't think they hit that mark, but they did definitely decrease the bacteria as they dried within that 24 hour period. So I am rather disappointed with the Norwex EnviroCloth. I really had high hopes for it and I really did want it to work better than it did in my home. 
Now this doesn't mean that all Norwex products are bad. I still love and use my window cloth uh, with just water to clean my bathroom mirror. I do have their mop system that I use to clean my floors. I have their dusting mitt that I really, really like, and I do think the EnviroCloth does a good job. It's something about it. It feels so nice and thick and sturdy. Um, I feel like it's the kind of cloth that you can use over and over and over again, and it is not going to, uh, to get holes in it. It's a really, really, really well-built cloth. That's why I was so upset that it didn't do well in my bacteria testing. I will continue to use the Norwex EnviroCloth in my home, but I will probably use it in conjunction with another cleaner, especially if I'm trying to remove bacteria from a particular place in my home. But when I'm testing a cleaning product's uh, efficacy at removing bacteria and actually being a disinfectant, for this channel, while I'm recording, I do use paper towels. Again, this test did not deter me from using Norwex products. I will continue to use them because I do like their products. I'm just not going to use them to disinfect my home and remove bacteria. If you have a cleaner that you would like me to test out, put in the comment section and I will do my best to get to it. I do have quite a bit of a backlog. I have a lot of cleaners that I'm testing and I really, really, really enjoy testing cleaners and I like seeing what my viewers want to see next. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate your time. Take care. Have yourselves a great day.